What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Trucker News. Emails at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. Always appreciate all the emails that you guys send me. You know, uh, before it gets to truck, it gets to train. And before it gets to train, it gets to the ships. And basically, the biggest shipping global logistics giant company, right? The second biggest, uh, pretty much damn near in the world, uh, Maersk is uh, laying off 10,000 people. You know, and they're saying it's because of market conditions, right? Uh, I want to share a small clip of what the CEO of Maersk is uh, talking about. Job cuts then, 10,000, it's a big number. Is this enough to get costs to where you want them to be? It is enough, uh, and it's a big number, uh, and it is, for what we can see now, enough uh, what we can do in order to bring uh, our cost base in line with the level of activity we expect to see uh, both uh, for the end of this year, but also towards 2024 and 2025. Today, which is Friday, uh, global logistics giant Maersk announced massively off in response to the worsening price outlook and challenging market conditions, it says. On November 3rd statement, uh, Maersk revealed that 6,500 jobs have already been eliminated so far in 2023, and the company plans to cut 3,500 more jobs this year and into 2024. The company points to overcapacity and weak market conditions as reasons for the layoffs. So, you know, all the intermodal, all the port drivers uh, tell me, you know, what, what does this uh, news mean to you? Uh, I'm sure you guys have felt this for a very long time. You know, when it gets to the top like this, when they have to cut 10,000 jobs, you know, it's a big problem. You know, it said that Maris also noted that good performance in terminals and stabilized logistics and service partly offset the continued pressure on prices in ocean. Right. Um, Mud truckers, what are your thoughts about everything? I just want to give you this news right here. But yeah, you know, have you felt it? Have you felt that uh, on the port side? When you're going to the port, uh, intermodal, uh, has it slowed down drastically? Uh, yes or no, comment down below. But just want to give you that news because when one of the biggest shipping and logistics company out there, for the people that don't know, uh, they've actually been working with Kodiak Robotics and uh, working with electric trucks and they ordered a lot of everything. So they have, I believe, over a fleet of 600 trucks of their own, you know, under another uh, trucking company subsidiary. Uh, we'll get into that next time. But for this, uh, yeah, 10,000 jobs. That's a whole lot. You know, my truckers comment down below. But yeah, just want to give you the state of the economy, what's going on. And yeah, in the shipping game, they're hurting too. So, you know, that's uh, going to always trickle down to trucking. So, you know, let's uh, get back to our daily broadcast. But just want to give you this uh, breaking news.